To move Outlook to a new computer, first we need to get the files we want to move. Go to the Start menu and open My Computer. First you want to go to Tools, Folders, Options, View, and Show Hidden Files and Folders. Click OK. Browse to find your files. Go to My Documents and Settings. Expand your user account. And you'll want to go to Local Settings and then find Outlook and this is where your data files are. Copy this folder to your removable media and then go to the application data path and find the Outlook folder. This has other support files for Outlook which you may want to keep. Copy this folder to your removable media. You may also want to move your stationary folder your templates folder and your signatures folder. On the new computer you'll reverse the process. You'll go to the start menu, my computer, you want to show the hidden files and folders. Then you'll want to copy the files from your removable media into your my documents and settings folders uh, under application data and under local settings. When you're finished Close Windows Explorer and you'll want to open the control panel and select Mail. Click Add to create a profile and type in a name for your profile. You'll want to add a new email account. Choose the proper type of account. Type in your name, address, and server names and your password. Click on the More Settings button, and if you need to authenticate with your server, uh, go to the Outgoing Server tab, and if you need to change your port numbers or want to leave copies of the messages on the server, go to the Advanced tab. When you're finished, you want to select the account and choose Properties. Click the Email Accounts button, and then View or Change Existing Email Accounts, and click New Outlook Data File and then choose the data file that you moved and click OK. Because both data files have the same name, I'm going to put a new name in for this personal folder so we can tell them apart and click OK. Now I'm going to select the old data file as the default for delivery and click Finish. We can go into data files and remove the personal folders that Outlook created for us and then click Close. And now we're ready to start Outlook.